Well, hello everyone and welcome to another Larry's Orchid Growing Guide. Today we're going to be talking about our tea plant. We do carry tea plants here at Larry's Orchid, so if you're interested in purchasing some and making your own tea, uh, check the link in the description box below. I have a link for these right there. Now the thing we're going to talk about in this episode is the tea plant specifically with its growing guide needs. So that comes along with uh, pH, watering, fertilizing, sunlight, and temperature. Also, I always get this question about, um, do you have a black tea plant? Do you have a green tea plant? Do you have an oolong tea plant? And I'm going to tell you right now, this one plant will make all of those. It just so happens to be based more on the time that you pick the leaves rather than the type of plant. So a lot of people don't realize that. So there's that little quick tip for you. It is totally based on when you harvest the leaves. When you harvest them and dry them is what's going to make your green tea or your oolong tea or your black tea. So that hopefully clears that up. Also, when it comes to pH, I'm gonna get right into this now because there's quite a bit about this plant, but they're very simple to follow. When it comes to pH, you want a pH neutral potting soil. So don't add any sulfur, don't add any um, lime to your soil, just because they like a pH of around seven. Another thing is if you get any fertilizer at all, make sure it's just an all purpose fertilizer. I like to give my tea plants at home just an average 777, something that's pretty gentle. It's organic and it also will be a slow release so that I don't have to fertilize it as much. You can get away with giving them a higher nitrogen fertilizer because you are growing it for the leaves and you might want it to grow a little bit faster. You can kick it into gear with like a, uh, maybe like a 1077 or a 1055 just so um, there's a little more nitrogen than phosphorus and potassium. That'll get the plant growing nice and fast for you as well. Another thing is sunlight. They love nice strong uh, sunlight just because they are a leafing plant here. And leafing plants, they, um, they like ni uh, nice sun because the sunlight actually produces the energy for the plant which helps it to grow. So a south-facing window, a nice strong south-facing window is going to do great or on your patio in the summertime is going to be excellent for you. Now the thing is, is you're going to wanna grow this indoors in the fall and the winter and then take it outside in late spring through the summer simply because it does not like cold temperatures. It will die if you leave it outside, so don't do that. But it can handle about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so um, it's not one of those plants where you have to panic and bring it back inside. It can handle a couple degrees here and there around 40, but I probably wouldn't leave it outside for much longer. Now when you receive your tea plant, they're going to come two to a pot here. But when you actually grow them, you're going to want to separate them from this pot. So when you receive them, uh, they're going to be about 10 inches or so tall. And this is going to be the best time for you to separate them because when they're young like this, they can be separated because the roots have not had a chance to really um, wrap around each other. And we simply put two in a pot to save you money on shipping. And so when you um, get it, you actually get two for the price of one and you can separate them out and have two plants here. They're also going to do better for you because you'll notice in the center here, if you grow them in the same pot, which I actually did once not really knowing um, about the spacing, they will actually um, kind of merge together and you'll only get about half of a plant because the plant on this side will grow and the plant on this side will grow and it'll kind of shade itself out in the center so you really won't get all that much tea leaves from each plant. So the best way to get the most bang for your buck is to just to separate them while they're young and put them in two separate pots for you. And that way you're gonna, you're obviously gonna get more tea, tea leaves as well, which I don't think anyone's going to be complaining about. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you learned something new, I hope you did. That's the point of these growing guides. But also, if you enjoyed, please click the subscribe button because that helps us know who we're reaching and it also helps you to uh, stay up to date on all the other cool things we're doing on this channel. And if you have any friends that are interested in growing tea or have asked you about uh, where they can find some tea plants, give them a link to this video or send them to the link in the description box below where we actually have them for sale. And hopefully we can help somebody out as well. Also, I wanna thank you all for making Larry's Orchids the number one stop shop for all your tropical and orchid needs. And as always, this is Luke and I'll talk to you all later. See ya, bye.